everyone. I'm Lauren and I'm a high school art teacher and this is my home. It's a 2001 International Bluebird bus, completely solar powered and off grid. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the inside. <laughs> front of the bus where we have our washing machine and our cubicle storage where we keep our bags, all of our shoes, paperwork, anything that's kind of precious that we don't want the dogs to get into, we keep up here. We have this nook here which acts as our couch. We just kind of hang out here and then below we also keep tools. I love our washer. It's amazing. It was only $160 and it pretty much runs just like any other washer. It comes with this little spinner which spins most of the water out and then we hang it up outside. This is our workstation. So Joe and I do any kind of laptop work here. We made this table. So it's resin, recycled pallet wood, and then we painted over some of the boards and then added like butterflies and different daisies that we found out in the yard probably cost us like $15 to make that table. Over on this side of the nook we had an area where we also hang out here. And this is our side door emergency exit which is really nice to be able to take out the blankets or just have open. And right here we have our wood stove. So this is our only heat source in the bus. And up here is this heat powered fan. So it helps to push the hot air out. Um, it's actually running a lot faster than it looks in this video, but that's our. So this is our kitchen area. Joe is a chef, so we have lots of room to work. And we got this sink, which is really deep, as you can see, for about $20 from a second chance store in Baltimore. This is a propane burner. Propane lasts us a long time. We also use propane for our water heater, which I'll show you. And this is where we store our veggies. Over on this side, this is actually a corner cabinet that I had in my old place. So this is where we keep our dry storage. When we're driving, we just take this little hairband and wrap it around this one so all the stuff doesn't fall out. We get all of our food in bulk to eliminate plastic waste. So even like our oil, we'll take this jar to the store and fill it up with their bulk oil there. We like to make a lot of stuff. So up here we have like a bunch of kombuchas growing extra jars even our dish soap and body soap filled up in bulk and this cabinet door actually came from this cabinet over here so that it doesn't all fall down when we drive so we have our fridge down below this counter and, and uses only a little bit of solar power because it's meant for rvs and boats and this is just a recycled dresser <laughs> This is our bathroom. So we have a composting toilet, which we have sawdust for right here. And then this is a little towel holder, which is just PVC pipe, recycled, spray painted it copper. So this is a Niagara conservation waterhead and it changes from two all the way down to only a half gallon coming out per minute. So that's how we use just a little bit of water for our showers. And then we also added on this little faucet for brushing our teeth or washing our hands.
And so this is our bedroom area and that is a air conditioner that we use during the summertime. I absolutely And then this is our water heater. So the water comes right up as well as the propane and it kicks on and it feeds hot water straight through. So behind this plant here and next to my closet area, we have our solar panel charge controller. And so this is how we can see how charged our solar is. This is underneath the bed, and so the dogs have another really big bed here that they love to lay on and look out the window. So these are our three batteries that the solar charges, and that's our little solar inverter over there. <laughs>